Hi, and welcome to CastNet's Week in Review. I'm Madison Earhart with your top stories from this week. The brand new interior health building downtown looks like a perfect fit for a safe injection site. However, that's not going to be happening according to IH. Chief Medical Health Officer Dr. Trevor Corneal says there is a better location at 477 Leon Avenue. He said it would better serve the target population because the area already has a number of harm reduction, health care and social services within close proximity. Leon Avenue is not a guarantee as IH says it will continue to seek feedback on its proposed location in Kelowna. Kelowna Mayor Colin Badzerin wants to find a balance for both the homeless and residents in Kelowna. He says his primary goal is to get people off the street, but it's not going to happen overnight. He says the intent of the bylaw is not to stop people from sleeping on the street, but to find a balance so residents don't feel intimidated for the business owners whose stores have been obstructed, as well as being sensitive to an issue that takes more than bylaws to fix. We're trying to find a balance as a council between uh, the complaints we're getting from residents and business owners who are saying people are afraid to come into our stores, People are blocking access to the sidewalk, um, but at the same time trying to be respectful of the fact that there are people on our streets, and so we're going to do this in a sensitive way. We're not out to try and get people in the middle of the night out of alcoves. Vernon Council has passed a motion that would notify people living in homeless camps that they have just five days to move out as long as there is enough room in local shelters to accommodate them. City staff are looking for an extra 30 grand for operations next year for the periodic cleanup, abandoned camps on city-owned land. That request will become part of budget discussions. Dorothea Cherniak got an unexpected surprise as a package delivered to her house exploded when she tried to open it. Emergency vehicles rushed to the Sun Leisure Mobile Home shortly after the explosion. It's still unknown who left the package outside of the residence. Not in the holiday mood yet, Candy Cane Lane is sure to spread Christmas cheer all while collecting food donations for several local charitable causes. The impressive decorations can be found in Rutland. 60 homes in glowing red and green are on display. Last year, the block donated 900 pounds of food to Kelowna Women's Shelters, Freedom Door Kelowna and Okanagan Boys and Girls Club Downtown Youth Centre. The decorations will be on display throughout December. That's it for this week's Week in Review from Castanet News. I'm Madison Earhart.